So they say cone on the outside is most accurate. I like cone on the inside. <laughs> but we'll go that. Shut the machine off before you start. It was already off. And once it once it does its thing, go ahead and set it. Still doing it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna put this where the weight is gonna go. It's right there. And then when it beeps, and I'm gonna set the inner one where I want the weight to go. Right there. And so it's set for aluminum S or five. And then it gives you the width. That's the outer diameter. This is an 18 inch wheel, but it's calling it 17.2. Do it there, and if you notice, it's set for a aluminum S, and it's telling you, showing you where the weights are going to go. It's right there on the inner planes. And close this. Now this weight placement is for aluminum wheels, that's why he put uh, the measuring device here up here rather than on the lip. And he put it on the very inside of the, the rim because that's where he's going to mount the weights on the inside of the barrel. It, get the inner one. And he wants it on on the. Now where's the laser? So the laser is is on, but it's not shining out. You can, if you look from this side, you can see that the laser is on. But, but we need to get that fixed. Oh, this is the. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is the one with the lens. Yeah. So, so that's pointing down on the inside lever. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I can barely see it on my hand, but it almost looks like it's pointing in the wrong place. But. Oh yeah, I can see it on your hand. So I and then to roll it to the next to the next point, you hit the stop button. So you release the it. Button? Yeah. So release it. Okay. Oh come on. Oh, there it goes. Releases the brake, and then you spin it till you get to the. Okay, so that's the, the five, and it's the laser's on the bottom again. See, not on the top. And that's the half ounce. Let's go now, why is it? Uh, why is the laser on the bottom and not the top? Because um, generally, the stick-on weights. Anytime the stick-on weights are here, it's always going to be on. I don't know why they want it on the bottom. That's how they do it. But if you're doing the edge ones, the clip-on, it's always going to be on the twelve o'clock. Okay. Twelve o'clock position up here. Um, and that's what we're used to so getting used to the the six o'clock position for the stick on or the aluminum wheels that is uh, we're going to put on the bottom you can also set it for a, a clip on on the outside and a stick on on the inside um, because a lot of a lot of aluminum wheels cannot take a, a clip on wheel weight on the outside so you'll set it up it'll 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 show this edge one the clip on one at the 12 o'clock position so you have to be careful when you, you go to set the out, outer one It'll be in here and the laser will be pointing out the bottom. Okay. And so one of the problems that we were having was that we weren't we weren't setting the wheel up for the right the right weights or because um, it kept the problem was that it you would put the weights on and then it would keep telling you that it wanted more, more weight, weight. Yeah. So what we're used to doing is I'll turn this machine off and on again. And so what we're used to doing is we 
we grab this and we put it on the edge. That's what we're used to doing. Okay. Okay. And then you would grab this guy and you would put it right in there. And that would give you almost the same. But if you look at your settings, it's no longer, I think it's probably on dynamic. And it shows, see, dynamic? Yeah, it's on dynamic. Yeah, and then it would be on the, it wants to clip on weights. That's one way to do it. But if you're going to do an aluminum wheel, okay, these are the settings for aluminum. Aluminum 1, aluminum 2, and aluminum S. So if you, you change the wheel, let me see if I can change it from here. So it's just, it's, I change, just change that to the location. Okay, yeah, and I that's went aluminum to aluminum one. 1. So this is if you're going to put a... a stick on weight on the inside of the wheel like we did and then a stick on weight on the outside of the spokes which this has no this it would be right in here and you know don't look okay hell yeah i'm not gonna do that so then you can go to aluminum two so you have one on the yeah outside lip and one on the yeah, inside a clip on the a clip on and a stick on okay and then the aluminum s it would be on the Inner plane, Both on the the, inner, yeah, and then on the center plane. Okay, so what's the dynamic? Is that just dynamic simply steel wheels? Steel wheels. Yeah. Okay. So for all these these settings, if you want it here and here, you would use the inside. What I was doing at first, I'd bring it out and set it, and then I would let it come back because that's what the instruction manual said. Okay. And then I would go back out to the inner one and set it. I would set it there and then it would confuse the machine I didn't I let them let the arm come back so oh okay so the what you're supposed here, to do let is, it deep yeah and then and continue then go, on, and then continue I, on see, to the next. I see and then okay. hit it in here and then, and then it will go to aluminum S and there it is yeah. aluminum S. and it shows you where you're gonna be placing the weights the stick okay. on Now, well, real quick, why are we turning on and off, and when should they do that? Every time they bounce? Every time they put a wheel on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so real quick, let's go through these. So the the stop allows you to release. What does the start do? The start, you can start spinning the wheel, Okay. Or but we have it set up. We have it set up. drop this, okay. it automatically starts spinning. And then this aluminum option just allows you to go between aluminum one, two, and yeah. yeah. Okay, and then what's the, I guess, option? Opt. Uh, optimum I guess or you optimum. can actually see how much how much weight it's, it's off so it's even finer than the, 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 the adjustment that we did okay and then the, uh, the and that's beam. also for so you can see uh, this is optimum and this is for weights you want to see the weights even down below a half a gram okay or five grams and then the millimeter inch I, I assume that's just it just toggles Changing out. you yeah. here. Okay. There, there, there. Okay. And then this is so we, we can enter. You can manually set up your wheel. The distance yeah. from the machine here. Okay. The width, that if you knew what the width was, and then diameter based upon the wheel size or tire size. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't bad. So these buttons, this calibrate. So don't... <laughs> Don't hit that one. It's gonna tell you to calibrate the machine. This is for I think is the the software in the machine. Okay. And this the F button. I don't know what it is. But some of these buttons you work. You have to work two buttons at the same time to get okay. it to, to get into that mode. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna talk about um, the setup of the machine for for the different wheels. So basically. Um, the best way to mount it is with this flush against the the hub here and then you put the cone on the outside and then tighten it up another way some wheels have a, like a foam or it's not really precision like uh, on this one I trust this side because it's a machine surface I know it's machine so it's true this side holds the cap, the decorative cap, so I don't know if it's, you know, machine center. I did this wheels on with this cone, and it seemed to be fine. It's it spun good. It balanced out real good the first time. So, best way to do it is 
like this with the cone on the outside and then just this go like that um, second option would be to put this spring in there and then this cone and of course then this cap on the outside using this one and the other reason why because this is interchangeable you can take this off and put this cone for a bigger bigger surface this one works works pretty well against this surface because it fits right in there so I can go either way these are the two options the other thing is when you start getting too big a, a wheel a center hole you have to go to a bigger say you have to go to a bigger die when you go in and you start pushing it in you can actually bottom it against the machine and that will leave the wheel loose so what you have to do is add the collar I'll show you this thing what we have right here you pull these fasteners out then you would put the collar in on here put the screws back in lock it in place and then the bigger collar will now fit inside without binding the wheel so, yeah. so this is like a truck wheel generally yeah generally the, the truck wheels will be associated with a bigger opening in the center and that's pretty much mounting the wheel okay so now what you showed before where the this aluminum wheel has a yeah. machine surface you want it right up against here without the spring the small cone and then the wheel lock yep what it, how it, will that be different on a steel wheel same thing same thing same thing so we don't have to worry about uh the setup for an yeah. aluminum and steel it's yeah. really about more the so, size more, of so, the more, more so the steel wheel is straightforward the cone on the outside because that is generally um, stamped circle right in the center of the wheel okay so there's generally no on a steel wheel there's generally no difference between that side and this side you see you can see this face in here it's it is machine but you know you really don't know on some wheels and then this this machine this surface you can tell it's it's been machined some of the uh some of the aluminum wheels have like a a coating like i said a coating on here and so this might not be a good surface to the center of the wheel on fine so the tire machine has these protective jaws which are all busted up so i had a, i put electrical tape on it to just protect my wheels so the one thing i think that's going on to break them is when you put this thing in here and you catch because this this lip is not so friendly for that so i think that's what's breaking these these protectors off okay so like our old machine doesn't it doesn't have the plastic yeah. and maybe we should just use that on the old machine yeah but see they have their wheel on there oh okay <laughs> so they don't want to take it off and they just go to this one and, and batch and then back to the balancer one thing that we noticed was when we were doing the uh the weights the lasers and you didn't really get to see them on the video this is the top laser it's really bright and very precise and this is the lower one and for the aluminum wheels we were using the aluminum ones now if you see here this like white residue and then you can see it's kind of there's some staining here the paint's coming off of there and there's some staining down towards the bottom of the machine and i think what's going on is um people are cleaning the wheel which you know okay but um they're using like a brake cleaner and that brake cleaner's coming down here and that's that residue and the uh, the laser the the lens was all fogged over and that's why you can't see it so we have a, a new one coming for that so don't use the uh, brake cleaner um, with the, right. the wheel uh, mounted Take, pull it off to to do it